What is up, my fellow dreamers and soul searchers? Welcome to another episode of Roxy Talks, where we discuss confidence, mindset, manifestation, and more. I'm Roxy Lee. I'm a mindset coach, and I'm here to help you banish your negative thinking and limiting beliefs so you can bring love, clarity, and joy into your life. If at any time throughout this video you're like, oh my gosh, Roxy, yas, 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 how do I do what you're talking about? Head to roxytalks.com where you can find my courses, workshops, podcasts, meditations, affirmations, and all kinds of fun stuff to help you manifest whatever the fuck it is that you're manifesting. Okay, today's question, can you talk about quantum leaping? Yes, I can. And this is exciting because I have a video that I did way back in the beginning of my channel, I will link it above, that kind of went like a little bit viral at the time about quantum leaping. And I have like four years of coaching under my belt now and I have much more experience with this concept so I'm excited to do an update of that video and kind of give my perspective on what quantum leaping is and so that is where I'm actually going to start because a lot of people when I notice they come to the quantum leap videos and they're like how do I live in Harry Potter universe how do I wake up in Timbuktu six feet tall with blue eyes like they ask these questions that are like how do I go from a to fucking z of another language in, in the blink of an eye. How do I go live in an anime universe? This is a lot of stuff that people ask about quantum leaping. And the answer is, honestly, like, do I think it's possible? I don't know. I honestly don't know. Like, to be, I have an open mind and I feel like, um, it has to be possible. I don't know. Is a cartoon universe possible? I don't know. I really don't. So when I get these questions, Number one, I'm like, ah, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what to say. But the other part of me can't help but notice what's behind it is like a, an extreme desire to escape our reality like now, like yesterday, like ASAP. So what I really want to talk about with quantum leaping and what my perspective of what quantum leaping is, is not necessarily like I'm going to go from one reality to something so drastically different that it's like I'm teleporting or time jumping or something like that. I'm going to be talking about quantum leaping from the perspective of collapsing time, of moving from this reality to your desired reality fast as possible, and not in a needy, desperate, I need to have this happen kind of energy, because that's the kind of energy that blocks you from fast manifestation and getting things on a certain time frame or whatever, or going from like a one place to a huge jump. That is going to be the nature of this video. If you're trying to watch this to figure out how to go to Hogwarts, like, Universal Studios, send me a picture. Like, I heard they just got butterbeer ice cream. It sounds delicious. Other than that, what we're going to talk about is collapsing time, moving from this version of your reality to your desired one really fast, a lot faster than what you're doing right now. But also understand that there is a logical aspect to how your mind works. And because your mind and your truth and your belief system is always manifesting the 3D reality in that doesn't stop. It's like the operating system on a Mac. It just kind of has to be there in order for Safari to run. In order for Google Chrome to run, there has to be Mac OS X or whatever, right? Like there has to be the operating system in order for the apps to work. So the part of you that is the operating system has a semblance of reality of like knowing and trusting that this reality is going to continue looking the way it is because in our minds, Time unfolds moment after moment after moment after moment. That's how we're supposed to think. So there is a part of you that is programmed specifically to think that way so that your reality isn't you bouncing from all these different realities to another. And I actually just made a video about that. I will also link that above. Having said all that, what we're gonna do is kind of break down what's logical for where you are going so that you don't have to take the one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight route. You can go like one, five, ten, whatever, right? Like collapsing time, making the journey much shorter so that you can get to where you want faster and experience that faster and not have to spend all that time wanting, wishing, struggling, feeling uncomfortable, not being there. We're going to transmute all of that uncomfortability into power that's going to continue to propel you into the reality you want to be in. I want you to think about the thing that you desire most. Is it a specific person? Is it money in your business? Is it following your passion? Is it like loving yourself more? Is it enjoying your life more? Is it getting your book written? Is it getting your business built? Whatever it is, I want you to think about the thing that you want the most. Where are we quantum leaping to? Where are we quantum leaping to? So we're starting out here today and we're quantum leaping to where? Where is that thing, okay? That thing right there. I want you to think about how many things that you did last month 
in the month of April, let's say, how many things did you do last month that would lead you to this path? Were you taking action every single day to get to this outcome for last month? And this is non-judgment. This is just self-inventory. Let's say that every week last month, you did one activity that furthered you along this line. Let's say you're writing a book. Let's say that last month, you sat down every Saturday and you wrote for a couple hours. You had four instances where you made progress on being a published author. Imagine if you had done those four days of writing in the first four days of the month. And then you had 26 more days to do whatever, writing or looking at publishing, designing your book cover, editing the stuff you've already written, whatever. And you filled every single day of that month with those 26 more things. In the first example, you basically moved four times to your goal, which is fine. In the second example, you could move 30 times. You could do 30 times the amount of damage, like in the best way, like, oh, we did damage. (laughs) 30 times the amount of damage on your book writing. Shitting on these bitches. (laughs) 30, 30 times. Or, okay, maybe let's say, what's four, uh, okay, uh, uh, no, 80, eight times, eight times, eight times. You could do eight times what you did in last month if you were to consistently take action every single day towards your goal versus consistently taking action every week, okay? So this is a very nuts and bolts way of looking at it, but the idea is... Think about how much you're doing to manifest your person or to have the mindset that allows you to be the one or to write your book or to get the followers or to bring in the sales or literally doesn't matter what you're manifesting. The question is every single, I don't know what, day, minute, week, year, second, whatever moment with you tell me. How often are you doing something and or thinking in a way that is aligned to you achieving that reality? And how often are you not? Because if you are able to string second after second after second after second after second after second after second second of moments together that were all aligned to your ideal reality, you would get there way fucking faster. You would collapse time. But it's all the in-between moments where you are unfocused, where you are letting your feelings dictate how you think, when you are believing in your 3D reality, when you're fearing, worrying, doubting, when you're looking at your 3D and saying, you know what, this isn't happening yet. You're reacting in a way that is out of alignment with you getting to that place. And that is literally doing whatever the opposite of collapsing time is. It's creating time. It's adding time. (laughs) It's adding time. That's what it is. It's adding time. Okay. It's quantum fucking staying right the fuck where you are. (laughs) It is not quantum leaping. It's quantum staying right the fuck here. Imagine you wanted to run a race and you were only going to take a step once every minute. If you were running a race and you only took one step once every minute, it would take you a really long time to finish that race. People will be done for weeks and you're still like, all right. Step number two, imagine how much faster you would get to your desired reality if you had more, more, more moments aligned, aligned, aligned exactly where you wanted to go instead of letting yourself be lackadaisical and lax with your mindset, your practice, your 360 method, your belief system. When you do not discipline yourself to keep your thoughts going in alignment with your ideal reality over and over and over, you just waste tons of fucking time and it pisses you off and it drains your fucking power. Well, it drains your power to create what you want, but it still creates what you don't want because you're an excellent manifester. So that's one way that you're going to quantum leap and collapse time to your ideal reality is to take more aligned actions and to think more like your ideal self more of the time, using more of the minutes of the day to your advantage versus letting yourself be your same old way for the majority of the day. Like you're doing a 15 minute meditation in the morning and then you're like writing three affirmations about your SP in the afternoon and then like 
visualizing them before you go to bed. Okay, what about the rest of the 18 hours in your day where you're consistently not choosing thoughts, actions, beliefs that take you to the reality where you have them, okay? That's why it's taking so long because too much of the shit that you're doing and thinking is aligned to you not having them, which is great. We're fixing it right now. So if you're like, okay, Roxy, but how the hell do I do this? 360method.co, that is my signature method. That's what I use to manifest. That's what I teach my clients. That's how we're helping millions of people's lives across the world with this channel and with 360 Method, teaching you exactly how to consistently think like your ideal self, where you're going, what you want to manifest so that you can can get there faster versus continuing to think like your current self, who you are and who you've always been and continue to manifest what you've always had. Okay. So if you want to make rapid change, you want to do it fast. You want to make drastic change. You want to manifest what you want into your life. ASAP. You want to stop fucking around 360 method. Dot co. That's where you'll find it. And I will also leave a link to it in the description below. This is you becoming a master of your reality. That is where you're going to learn exactly how to choose the thoughts to support yourself in taking that consistent action, to be able to sustain the mindset of somebody who moves at a higher level than you're moving right now. 360method.co is going to help support you through that. And in fact, I'm actually adding a module nine to 360 method. We're doing it live on Monday, May 20th. So anybody that has ever been in 360 or is in it currently now, you are invited to our live taping of module nine, where I will be sharing what I've done in the two years since 360 was released to advance this practice, to expand on it in my own life and exactly what you can do for the next chapter of your life in 360 and beyond. So if you're a 360 Method alum, make sure you watch your inbox because I will be sending out the invitation to join us for the live 360 Method module nine recording. And if you're not a part of 360 Method yet, 360method.co, and I'll leave a link to it in the description. So I want you to comment down below, I move fast and my manifestations come even faster. I move fast and my manifestations come even faster. Because I want you to be in the energy of somebody that is not afraid to take risks, that is not afraid to step out into the unknown and trust that the universe is going to give you exactly what you want. Trust that the universe is here to deliver. That's what it does. It's a delivery service. So let it do its damn job, okay? And we're just going to take advantage of this time to also affirm that it's really fast at its job. It's really good. It's efficient. It's fast. And it always serves me. So thank you, universe. If you're manifesting a specific person or you're starting up your career, you're growing your business, you are that author and you want to create a life that is beyond your wildest dreams, head to roxytalks.com. I've got amazing workshops, courses, podcasts, affirmations, meditations, free content, all kinds of stuff that you can use right now to start manifesting all of the fun and cool shit that you want you freaking deserve it and I know you're going to do it. So I love you and I appreciate you. RoxyTalks.com. Go get that shit. <laughs> get started right now. Leave me a comment and tell me when your manifestation comes through so I can celebrate with you. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button. That lets me know that you enjoy this kind of content. And if you did enjoy it, please subscribe and hit the bell notification so you never miss a video when we upload. And if you happen to catch one of my videos premiering on YouTube, head over because I'm usually chatting with the community in the live premiere so you can come say hi. We also go live every Monday on this channel for my Mindset Monday, where you can join me and our fellow manifestors. And I answer your manifestation questions and help guide you so that you can get all the shit that you want. Again, that's just what I want for you. I just want you to have the shit that you want. I want you to be a well-rounded human. I want you to be happy in your own skin. I want you to be happy with the person you're with. I want you to be doing the shit that you love. And I'm helping you do it. RoxyTalks.com. Come back for more. I love you so much. Thank you for watching this video. We're all raising our vibrations together. You have the power. I believe in you. I'll see you next week.